I don't know about you, but what I fancy right now is a nice ice lolly with mealworms. At Chessington Zoo, they're doing whatever it takes to keep the animals cool, and the skunks are loving this. So generally we um, have lots and lots of different ways of keeping them cool, so paddling pools, ice lollies, anything like that. They can struggle a little bit in this sort of heat if they've got thick coats or if they're not used to this sort of climate, if they're from more colder climates, it can be a bit difficult for them. Um, so we like to give them lots of different things to try and help keep them nice and cool in the summertime. The squirrel monkeys have even got different lolly flavours. Oh, hi there. This little one's got a baby on its back, but I don't know whether the baby's allowed any ice lolly. Hi. You're a bit cute, aren't you? For Olga the Siberian tiger though, it's more of a meaty ice pop. Ooh. And let's not forget about the lorikeets. They might be tropical birds, but they've been raised in the UK, so they are not used to these temperatures. This is nectar, and it's the lorikeet equivalent of having a nice cold beer on a hot day. But I've got to keep him at arm's length. Don't spit at me, because apparently I've got high risk of getting pooed on. What a gem. Sometimes you just want to jump into a paddling pool, though. And that's something we can do if we're dog owners as well. How brilliant does this look? On a serious note, though, this weather can be really dangerous for our pets. It goes without saying that we don't leave dogs in hot cars. But here's some more advice from the RSPCA. If you're wanting to take your dog for a walk or you're wanting to go for a ride on your horse, for example, then we'd say try to avoid the warmest parts of the day. Go really early in the morning or really late in the evening when it's much cooler and don't take them out during the hot weather because it is very easy for them to overheat and to suffer from heat stroke. A good tip is to touch the tarmac with your hands if it's too hot for your fingers, it's too hot for their paws. Back to the zoo now though and all of these ice lollies have made me want one too. It's mealworm flavoured. It's delicious. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.